over eight years since a terrorist started sending anthrax through the mail in the United States. It happened in the wake of the 9-11 attacks. Our country was still hurting and off balance, and it was an awful time. Some of the anthrax was sent to NBC News, some of it to the New York Post. Tonight, the FBI is revealing new details about its investigation as it closes the book on this case. Inhalation anthrax is considered to be the most deadly form of anthrax. Infection usually develops within a week after exposure, but it can take up to two months to be noticeable. Without treatment, 10 to 15 percent of patients survive, but with aggressive treatment, about 55 percent of patients survive. Anthrax is an underestimated toxin that not only affects humans, but also our livestock industry. Anthrax is an infectious disease caused by gram-positive rod-shaped bacteria known as Bacillus anthracis. It can be found naturally in the soil, but also produced in the lab. When anthrax comes in contact with humans, one way we can become infected is by inhaling spores. Inhalation anthrax starts primarily in the lymph nodes in the, in the chest before spreading throughout the rest of the body, causing severe bleeding problems. Large spores lodge in the throat and windpipe. The immune system is capable of destroying some of these spores. However, the remaining spores can germinate anywhere from 1 to 60 days, producing more bacteria. The bacteria produces toxins that enter the bloodstream that can cause hemorrhaging or tissue decay. The anthrax toxin is composed of three proteins, one of which is the protective antigen. These three proteins working hand in hand make up the toxin found in the spores. It is common for these spores to be found in the soil, which if ingested or consumed can infect livestock. When livestock become infected, they can spread the spores, which then allows the possibility for humans to come in contact with them. The protective antigen is a complex made up of seven identical subunits, also known as a heptamer, which assemble into a ring to embed itself into the cell membrane and creates a pole allowing the lethal factor and edema factor proteins to enter the cell. Some of the symptoms for diagnosing of cutaneous anthrax include itchy sores that develop which may lead to blistering or form black ulcers. The sore is usually painless but often surrounded by swelling. Inhalation symptoms may include fever, headache, cough, shortness of breath, and chest pain. Symptoms of gastrointestinal anthrax may include abdominal pain, bloody diarrhea, fever, mouth sores, and vomiting. Ways to determine if these symptoms are as a result of anthrax are to take skin cultures, blood cultures, chest CT scans, or x-rays, or even spinal taps. Antibiotics that are typically prescribed to treat anthrax include penicillin, deoxycycline, and ciprofloxacin. There were two letters that were suspicious that both arrived on the same day. One contained a white talcum powdery-like substance. The other contained a brownish, granular, almost sandy-like substance. Are we prepared for a similar attack? We can only hope.